In this video, I am going to show you how to implement AdMob Banner App in Android Studio using Kotlin. First, create a new project and select MPT Views Activity and give the project name here and select the language Kotlin and click on finish. And open a browser and search here add mob banner ad and click the first link Google developer and this is the documentation of banner app how to implement first click on get started In your project, open the manifest file now copy from metadata and copy these three lines and open your project and paste inside the application tag And now go to the browser and copy this sample AdMob app ID for testing purpose. This is for only testing purpose. So copy this, right? And replace this. Now open the build gradle and copy this dependency and paste here. Now click on implement banner ad and this is the ad view copy this first sync your gradle click on sync now Now go to the resource folder and layout and main activity. Which activity? And open in split mode and paste here add view.
and this is the size of add view if you want to large size then you can change the size here these are the edge size constant in case of banner the size will be 320 into 50 if you set the large banner then size will be 320 into 100 and these are the banner as sizes just you can copy this constant and paste here now open the browser and search the google admob gdpr implementation and click the first link and copy this dependency and paste here in the gradle build and sync the project now and read the documentation how to request the concern information this is the documentation load and show a concern form if required add show concern required in European Union and copy these variables and paste here import class enable view binding Now create a function request concern info update. And copy these lines. and paste inside the function and copy this code and modify like this load and show the concern form and handle the concern loading error if concern form fail to load then show the snack bar and a message reload and re-request request for concern info update else load the ads so create a function here create a function here load ads and pass the condition here if concerned information can require ads and pass another condition if is mobile ads in slides called get set true 
then set here add callback and pass the request add request dot builder dot build now create a callback and here is the banner add callback so copy this callback and create a function add callback and paste these callbacks inside this function binding dot add view and call this callback here adds callback now call this load adds function inside this else part load adds inside the function request concern info now call this request concern info update in on create now run the app now app is working and displaying test add test banner add and size of 320 into 100 if you want to see concerned info form then do some changes and force a geography that mean display your geography in under the european union because this form will display in european union so copy this line but this line only for testing purpose so remove the this line before publish the app copy these lines and paste here under the function request concern update info and replace this test divide has the id copy this test device has id and paste here now run the app now app is running and our concern form is displaying you can concern and do not concern this is for testing purpose only so in this case i am click here now app is displaying so our app is working perfectly and now remove these lines and and comment these params
now run the app so app is working perfectly 